The Spanish community has had a long history with the Tampa Police Department. The first documented Hispanic officer to die in the line of duty, Juan Nales, was shot and killed on July 18, 1920 in West Tampa. Officer Nales was shot while apprehending a suspect, leaving behind a wife and two children. Approximately 50 years later, the department had another first. The child of Hispanic immigrants, Chief Charles Otero, became Tampa's first Hispanic chief of police in 1974. Chief Otero accomplished many things during his tenure. Most notably, he helped establish the school resource officer program here at TPD. Tampa's second Hispanic police chief, Eduardo Gonzalez, was chief of police in 1992 before President Clinton appointed him as director of the U.S. Marshal Service in 1993. In the year 2000, the department was faced with a shooting spree, affecting the Hispanic community. Chief Benny Holder recognized the growing need at the Tampa Police and appointed the first Hispanic liaison in the department and the first ever in the Tampa Bay area. In 2001, the department had its first female line of duty death. MPO Lois Marrero, of Puerto Rican descent, was fatally shot by a fleeing bank robber. Fluent in Spanish, MPO Marrero worked closely with the Hispanic community. Her work impacted the lives of many. 20 years after her sacrifice, the connection she made with the Hispanic community continues to grow. And did you know, our chief, Mary O'Connor, is also of Hispanic descent. Her grandmother, Elizabeth Sierra Minter, was born in Caracas, Venezuela, and migrated to the U.S. at a young age. All members of our department take pride in the Hispanic heritage of our city. We are eternally grateful for those who came before us as they helped pave a path for a better future. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month!